very, very quietly. A sports car makes its world premiere in Munich. In the future, its performance will be spectacular. Its name says it all, the Audi R18 e-tron Quattro. Michel Dick, head of technical development at Audi, says the firm has recognized the sign of the times, electric motors and alternative fuels. Audi doesn't want to miss the boat, and this project shows it won't. Audi plans to demonstrate what it can do by winning the Le Mans race. With the R18 e-tron Quattro, Audi is bringing all-wheel drive back onto the racetrack. The company hopes this car will continue Audi's success story at the Le Mans 24-hour race. The R18 e-tron Quattro has a 375 kilowatt V6 DTI engine that powers the rear wheels. Two electric motors store energy every time the driver brakes, providing additional power to the front wheels. Audi factory driver Mike Rockenfeller says the extra power is that what a race car driver wants. But the car is also fascinating because the technology blazes trails ecologically, and that on a racetrack. Audi has been able to test the new sports car's performance in Belgium's six-hour Spa-Francorchamps race, where the e-tron Quattro took second place. So what are its chances for a victory at Le Mans in France? Wolfgang Early, head of Audi's motorsports division, says the company hopes this model is the most efficient one on the track. At Le Mans, speed and efficiency are both essential, so the R18 e-tron Quattro has a good chance. But nothing guarantees a win on this difficult course. After all, the competition never sleeps. Toyota will be at Le Mans again. The 80th Le Mans race will be a duel between the teams from Japan and Bavaria, each fielding two hybrid cars. Wolfgang Uri says Audi isn't underestimating the competition. It knows that Toyota has been working on its vehicle and the hybrid sports car idea for quite some time. It will prove a big challenge. The Audi has a diesel hybrid engine. The Toyota TS030 has a 3.4-liter V8 gasoline engine combined with an electric motor. The engineers use capacitors to capture and store the energy when the driver puts on the brakes. So the race between a hybrid diesel and a hybrid gasoline motor will be suspenseful, especially because of the special conditions of the Le Mans 24-hour race. The factory driver says Le Mans is the world's most spectacular and difficult race. For drivers like Mike, it's one long sprint. Drivers alternate plummeting into the night and briefly sleeping before driving again at the limits of their stamina. This is the first time since 1999 that Toyota has entered the Le Mans competition. Audi has a record bolstering it. Out of 13 starts in the race, it has won 10 times. On the third weekend of June, we'll see who was number one this year. <laughs>